Our lesson objective today is to analyze a setting description. So I have a setting description here which has been taken from A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So I'm going to read through this very very carefully but I've got a checklist here which I've attached onto Seesaw and there's the checklist and these are the various things that I'm looking for in this setting description. I'm checking to see if the place has a name, any details to make the place believable, and I'm looking to see if I can find any examples of description of the weather, the time of day, what can be seen, what can be heard and what can be felt. And also I've got a space here um, to make a note of any really good adjectives that I really like in this description. So I'm going to decide, I've got some coloured pencils here, and I'm going to decide that um, I'm going to look for examples of the weather in green. So I'm, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to look at the sensors first. So when I read through this, the weather, um, I'm going to start from, from this point here, from Holly. The ghost of Christmas present is about to take Ebenezer Scrooge on a journey. And uh, this is the point where all the wonderful food that surrounds this particular spirit disappears and they set off to another location. Holly, mistletoe, red berries, ivy, turkeys, geese, game, poultry, brawn, meat, pigs, sausages, oysters, pies, puddings, fruit and punch all vanished instantly. So did the room, the fire, the ruddy glow, the hour of night, and they stood in the city streets on Christmas morning, where, for the weather was severe, the people made a rough but brisk and not unpleasant kind of music in scraping the snow from the pavement in front of their dwellings and from the tops of their houses, whence it was made delight to the boys to see it come plumping down into the road below and splitting into artificial little snowstorms. Well, already in that paragraph there, I'm told that the weather is severe, and I'm told that they're scraping snow from the pavements and from the tops of their houses. Um, and we've got, um, as the snow falls down, we've got little snowstorms. So we've got some description of the weather there. Let's see if there's anything further down here. The house fronts looked black enough and the windows blacker, contrasting with the smooth white sheet of snow upon the roofs. So another reference to snow there. And with the dirtier snow upon the ground, which last deposit had been ploughed up in deep furrows by the heavy wheels of carts and wagons, furrows that crossed and recrossed each other hundreds of times where the great streets branched off and made intricate channels hard to trace in the thick yellow mud and icy water. The sky was gloomy and the shortest streets were choked up with a dingy mist, half thawed, half frozen, whose heavier particles descended in a shower of sooty atoms, as if all the chimneys in Great Britain had, by one consent, caught fire and were blazing away to their dear heart's content. There was nothing very cheerful in the climate of the town, and yet there was an air of cheerfulness abroad that the clearest summer air and brightest summer sun might have endeavoured to diffuse in vain. OK, I'm going to stop there. Um, lots more references to what the weather has been like. Um, I have got here a dingy mist. I've got a gloomy sky. So I've got lots. Now I've got some I've got some reference to summer here down at the bottom. I know it's not summer because I know it's winter time because it's a Christmas story and we've got so many references to snow that what he's saying here is that um, even if it was a bright summer sun um, it wouldn't uh, be as bright as the cheerfulness of the people there. So that's not a reference to the actual weather. So those are references there I found weather in my setting description. Let's see what else. Time of day. I'm going to do that one blue. What references do I have to the time of day? I might feel that I, I need to read this again carefully to find these references. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to skim through. But you might want to read it um, very, very carefully. I know that when all this food disappears at the beginning of this extract, it says the hour of night. Because all these foods vanish so did the room, the fire, the ruddy glow, the hour of night. So this happens at night time. A 
And then, when they're transported somewhere else, and they stood in the city streets on Christmas morning. So they've moved from the night to Christmas morning. Okay, so I don't have any other references to the time of day. Let's see what else is on the list. What can be seen? I'm going to do that in purple. Well, I've got lots of things that I can see in here. Um, I've got all of these. I'm going to take my... I haven't got a ruler, but I'm doing this quickly. You're going to use um, a ruler or you something to make this very, very... Do this very carefully. We can see all this food. We can see um, houses. We can see the streets. We can see boys and we can see the road. And we've got the house fronts that look black and they've got black windows. Um, yes, we can see the snow as well. We can see dirty snow on the ground. We can see furrows, deep furrows in the snow, these channels that the, the horses and carts have, have uh, dug into the snow. We can see thick yellow mud and icy water. We can see short streets. We can see showers of sooty atoms, the soot coming out of the, out of the chimneys. So there's lots of things that we can see in there. The next one, let me choose this ready colour. What can be heard? Do I have any references to things that can be heard? Well, I can see here, I've got a brisk and not unpleasant kind of music in scraping the snow from the pavement in front of their dwellings. So the people are scraping the snow from the front of their dwellings I'm going to put from the pavement in front of their dwellings and from the tops of houses. And it says that the, the people made a rough but brisk and not unpleasant kind of music. So we've got this scraping sound as people are scraping the snow away. And I'm just having a look down here. And I can't really see anything else which is referring to... Um, to any sounds which are in there. So, but I've got, I've got some sounds in there. And the next one, and I'm going to choose this orange one for this. What can be felt? I wonder if there's anything in here that I can actually feel. Well, I don't think there's anything really that tells me anything that can be felt. But I can imagine how cold it feels. I can imagine the ice. It tells me there was nothing cheerful in the climate of the town. There's nothing, it was very dingy and dark and icy. But I don't have anything really there about what can be felt. I can imagine what the snow feels like, the hard snow when they're scraping, scraping it away. Okay, the other thing that I have on here is making sure the place has a name. Well, very simply, this particular um, extract, it tells us in Great Britain, so we know it's in England, it is actually in London. Details to make the place believable. We've got lots of details in here, haven't we? We've got lots of description about the weather. Um, and, and the, the channels in the snow and some snow's dirty and people scraping things um, and it's very it's very unpleasant dark atmosphere so we have got lots of and we, and we, we may remember ourselves of living through winter and remembering how cold it is and, and ourselves scraping off uh, snow from a car windscreen or from a pavement and so we know what it feels like so we know this is a believable realistic scene but I'm also interested in this part here. Adjectives build up an atmosphere and allow the reader to picture the setting in their head. I'm going to think, look at some adjectives now. And there's lots of things that I like about this. As I said before, I absolutely adore this story. And I love the way it describes uh, a, uh, a rough but brisk 
a not unpleasant kind of music describing them scrape all the different people scraping the snow away i really like um that expression i like the atmosphere that's created uh, when we say the sky was gloomy and the shortest streets were choked up with a dingy mist half thawed half frozen so we've got some really good adjectives there we've got choked and dingy thawed frozen gloomy so i've got some really really good examples there which i am going to write down as well so i've analyzed this particular setting description so that's how i would like you to do it so i've attached uh, a different setting description um, for you to have a go at by yourselves